Hi, this is Living Little Live TV, and we're here with Jerry Rush of Glass Power. Hey, how's it going? So, Jerry, how have you been lately? Uh, I've been great. Um, just started my new band, Glass Cloud. Um, so I've been busy with that. It's the first time I've ever started a band, as opposed to joining them. So uh, I've been busy with all that stuff, you know, getting merch, vans, trailers, management, you know, all that. Um, so all last year I was super busy doing that. Now I'm here in Dallas or Grand Prairie, wherever we are. <laughs> yeah. So how did your members from Glass Cloud come together? How did you choose your members? Um, well, when I, when I quit Skites Airplane years ago, I was still signed to Equal Vision Records. Um, and then um, I had been talking with them about starting a band, and they kind of let me have free run with it and did anything I want. Um, my guitarist, Josh Travis, he was in a band called the Tony Danza Tab Dance Extravaganza, and I was a huge fan, still am a huge fan of them. And um, uh, I know that they were on their last record, and they, he wasn't going to do anything, so I kind of just hit him up. On Facebook was like, hey man, let's, I'm still looking for a guitarist, and he kind of just commented back, let's do the damn thing, and I said, cool, and he called my manager, and my manager called me saying, hey, you know, Josh wants to be in your band, and I was like, really? <laughs> and so, that, yeah, and then um, my drummer and my bassist are childhood friends of mine, I grew up with them, they graduated from Berklee College of Music in Boston, the same time that I was starting this band, my, my bassist called me asking me if he can use me as a reference to Guitar Tech for Train, the band Train. I said, fuck that, um, come and be my band. And so, they were, you know, they kind of came in, you know, you know, and, uh, you know, I started the band. That's how it went. So do you feel pretty positive the direction your band is going right now? Yeah, most definitely. I have a really good booking agent, I have a really good manager, a really good label backing me. I have a lot of good uh, support from fans and friends, and um, things are actually taking off really, really uh, quick. I um, couldn't be more happy about it. Yeah, that's really good. So um, this is the first time playing in Dallas, obviously. And do you have any plans, like, after you have your little Texas run here? Are you doing maybe, like, go on some tour with other bands? Yeah, we're doing a tour in April, um, the Road to Metal Fest tour. We're playing New England Metal Fest. Um, that's with I Wrestled a Bear once, Molotov Solution, and The Greenery. And then we have a big summer tour, but I can't announce it yet. All right, so no world tour from Glass Cloud. Who knows? Maybe. <laughs> So, like you were saying about your f friends and fans, how's the reception of Glass Cloud been? Really, really well. Um, I think with Glass Cloud, it's uh, we didn't we didn't just kind of go the generic scene core stuff. We actually have really good musicians in my band, and uh, you know, so the whole approach to writing songs were, was way different than just how I've normally been used to. So it was cool to, and like I said, my drummer, my bassist graduated from Berkeley, so they have ton of music theory and they're really smart with writing music and so it's cool to me kind of like you know check me from writing because I don't know anything about music I just know how to write things that I like you know and they know how to write things that make sense and so it's kind of us together bouncing ideas off of each other so yeah so that's really good for you guys because like I know like kind of about music theory how like time signatures and all that yeah yeah so is that are you like are you liking it Oh yeah, I love it. Yeah, our new stuff is like really, really, really heavy, but also really melodic at the same time. So we have like super heavy parts and super catchy parts, you know. And it's, uh, it kind of just sounds just like uh, Sky Airplane mixed with Tony Danza, Tad Dance Extravagance, if you think about it, which makes perfect sense because you know it's two of those bands, you know. So since you put out your single, are you guys looking into maybe putting out an EP soon or a full-length album? Uh, yeah, um, we're we'll releasing our album in the summer. Um, it's still getting mixed and mastered right now. Um, March 20th, we are releasing a two-song EP. Um, the song White Flag and this song called um, uh, Counting Sheep is on it, yeah. And uh, that'll be available on iTunes and, you know, everywhere else um, online. All right, so going a little back to the past, after departing from Of Mice and Men, how were you looking at live? Were you like... Did you automatically start your new band or take some time off for yourself? Um, well, that was actually a sigh of relief, really, getting let out, let go of that band. Um, I'm, I was, like I said, I was signed to Equal Vision Records, but I was doing a band on Rise Records, so I was kind of on the verge of being sued. Oh. Yeah, so, um, and, um, and that band wasn't, you know, I didn't have any passion in that band. I didn't, I never even heard of the band when I joined them. Their manager called me and asked me if I could fill in on for a tour. I knew who Austin Carlisle was from Attack Attack, but I'd never heard of Mice and Men. Um, so, you know, he called me, asked me if I could fill in. I said, well, who's on the tour? I said, Alisana, we came as Romans. I was like, okay, cool, those are homies of mine. I'd like to go out and, you know, see them for a month. Midway through that tour, they, uh, they kicked out Austin and asked me to be permanent. 
they kind of just threw it at me and I kind of just like, you know, haphazardly just accepted it and, um, you know, and so it kind of, I mean, they weren't really like my, my, they're my friends and I like the guys, but they're not really my friends. Like I, the family. Yeah, you know, like my band now are people that I, when I'm at home and I'm not on tour, yeah. I'm hanging out with them every day anyway. And that's just kind of what I, I didn't have like camaraderie in the band. And so, you know, and, and I don't know, it was kind of, kind of crazy to me to be in that yeah. situation. So. It was actually like a sigh of relief. Um, I knew it was going to happen. I, I knew, I knew they were going to let me go um, a, a while before they did. Uh, they didn't know that I knew, but you know, you let someone know in the industry, everybody knows. And um, I kind of played my my cards right with that, and um, started looking into new management. Um, I didn't want to be under their management that they had, um, so I just started looking into new managers and. Uh, you know, and then I got a really, really great manager now, and you know, he's definitely helps me out with everything I need. And um, so, yeah, I mean, of my cement was a big. It felt like the weight of the world was off my shoulders with that. I mean, also, I don't want to live up to any, any, um, anybody else. I don't want to sing other people's songs. People say, "Well, you're singing this song wrong. Yeah. You're not Austin Carlisle." I'm like, you well, you know what? Compared. I'm not Austin you're, Carlisle. You're, I'm Jerry Roush. I'm gonna do these songs how Jerry Roush would do the songs. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mimic anybody, you know. And uh, so. You know that it was kind of just like cool for me. I was like glad that 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 um, you know they uh, usurped me, if you will, let me go. Yeah, and actually, you're pretty good. I saw you at Warped Tour. Um, 2011 was it? 2010. 2010. With the yeah. Mice and Men. Yeah, I saw you. Yeah. And you look pretty good. You spit on me actually, but that was cool. Sorry about that. That was cool. <laughs> yeah. I look pretty good. I slobber a lot. <laughs> so, do you feel like you've grown as a person? Oh, most definitely. That's yeah, yeah. I mean, when when I joined Sky Eats Airplane, I was 20 years old. I didn't know anything. I moved here to Dal uh, to Fort Worth actually, and was just writing songs, uh, you know. And now um, I'm more of a grown up, you know. What I'm saying, me, the rest of my band, we're all you know older, and um, so we all have like you know uh, responsibilities and stuff. So we're more, you know, um, I don't know, responsible with our with our band than just being kids touring, you know. So, like, as soon as you left, you continued with your life, you know? So yeah. what can you tell, like, fans who are, like, you, you didn't give up, you just kept going at it, and now yeah. you're back up there. Can yeah. you give any advice to not losing hope and keep going? Yeah, I mean, you just got to start from somewhere, you know? Um, some kids just want to be rock stars, you know, their first show. You got to realize that, you know, it's got to, you got to build the foundation back. before you can build the roof, you know? And, and, and uh, you know, I, and I, I knew that, you know, when I was starting this band, I had been in other previous bands and done huge tours, but I knew that this band, the band Glass Cloud, was nothing. Nobody's ever heard of it. Nobody, nobody has heard any songs. You know, we have one song out online, so it's really just like you know, cool to see that everybody still supports. We we had a ton of following just before we released any music. You know, it was cool that the that the kids um, were stoked about it. It was cool for me to you know do my own thing as well. You know, as opposed to just joining someone else's band and filling shoes. I could do this how I wanted to do it. You know. As opposed to me being a singer saying, give me a microphone, give me a paycheck, and tell me what time I have to be on stage. That's what I was in my other bands. Now this one, I kind of run the whole, the whole show. And, um, you know, I like that better because I know what's going on, you know? All right, so going back to how you're saying about, this is your music now, and you do how you, it's your style, right? Yeah. It's your band. Um, it's really great. Like, I was in the White Flag, and it's, yeah. it's really unique. Like, it's none of that, like, I don't want to say what you, like, it's been generic, and we have a lot of generic bands out there yeah. right now. And your band really sticks out. So. That's 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 what a lot of people have been saying, you know. And that that's unique is is the word for it. Um, there's my band; they're actually coming back. They took our band to the Guitar Center. Uh -huh. But um, yeah, um, my booking agent Dave Shapiro. Before he was booking us, he wanted to come. We recorded we recorded our record in San Diego, or Escondido, where where um, Lambie's Studios is. But uh, he came in, you know, and, and with, with the with the oversaturation of generic hardcore screamo bands you know we I didn't want to get mixed up in that you know and and so I kind of you know really took the time to make sure that this band is going to stick stand out but still relate to people and um so that's what we did you know and I, like I said I'm a huge fan of Josh Travis my guitarist um Danza 3 the record that he did with Tony Danza Tap Dance Travaganza was like on constant rotation in my CD player when when I heard it um so it was just cool to actually be with with um, with him because I mean you know he's I'm a fan of him, you know he he's 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 grown he's grown up you know what I'm saying he's not just a kid writing songs he's 
he's, he's a grown man writing music, you know, and, and so him and I, I mean, he, he stays with me in Virginia when he's, when he's not at home in St. Louis, uh, so me and him have a lot of time to bond together all the time. He actually lives a room, one room over from me, so we just chat all day and night, and he's just great. It was cool because my drummer and my bassist, I've known him for years, so we were already like a clique, so we didn't know how it was going to be with our... Our, um, our guitarist, you know, he had said he'd been sending me tracks and I was doing my vocals on him and sending them back, but nobody had, um, I hadn't met him yet, you know, but he came in and fit perfect, he's just like puzzle piece to us and uh, so it's great, I mean, he's just like the same same dude, you know, and, and so it's, it's uh, real cool that everything uh, worked out really well like that. All right, well, here you are with Glass Cloud, you kept out your dream and you're living it now yeah. and the only place you can go from here is up. Yeah. So, you hear that, guys? Don't give up on your dreams or anything. Yeah, Just work hard for it. Yeah, you got to, you know, practice, you know. Practice makes perfect. That's a, you know, it's a saying for a reason, you know. If you want to be better at anything, just got to practice and just keep on working hard and just, you know, you know, like self-promote as much as you can. Stand in the mall with your iTunes and just, or iPod and just show people your songs, you know. It's, uh, you know, you can't give up. If you do, then, you know. My, then just don't even start in the first place because yeah. there's no point if you're not going to continue with what you want to do. Yeah, dedicate yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, I'm Augustine. This is Live and Let Lift TV and we just interviewed Jerry Rush. So, thanks guys. Cool. Awesome, man.